Hi everybody, Joseph here with Bean to Bar World. Welcome to Taste With Me. Today I'm going to have a chocolate tasting with Pump Street, Shoki, and Matisto chocolate. I'm going to go through the chocolates one by one using my tasting book. So let's get started. Here I have some little pieces of paper that I made out of uh, used wrappers and cacao husks from some chocolate I made. So I'm just putting those out. And now I'm going to take a piece of chocolate from each bar. Put it on my wrapper there. That little cup beside me is my cleansing water, some hot water. Hot water is the best palate cleanser when you're having a chocolate tasting. So I have a couple pieces of Pump Street 72% Madagascar and now I have a couple pieces of the Shoki Dominican Republic 72% bar. I'm having all single origin dark chocolates today. And the last one is from Matisto. It's a Solomon Island origin 67% dark chocolate. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to pour myself more hot water here. Get my mouth nice and warm so that the chocolate can melt, so the aromas can be released. So I'm going to warm up my mouth, cleanse my palate, swoosh it around. Here I have my tasting logbook from the Bean to Bar Compass. And taking a look at the pump street, looking at the color, comparing the colors. It looks more similar to the Matisto than the Shoki. And I'm just going to color on my book there just to get an idea of the color. It's a much warmer brown than the Shoki. It's got some warm reddish orangey tones to it. And the shine is, is very nice. Give it a high mark for shine. I have my flavor wheel ready to go as well. So now I'm going to give it a snap. Good snap there. I'm going to give it a sniff. It's It's got a good sweet sharp smell to it, distinct sort of like fruit and coffee, I would say. It's hard to get the aroma from chocolates when you're just sniffing them. But this one has a pretty pretty distinct aroma to it. So I'm ready to taste, but I'm going to warm up my mouth again. Take my first bite. And I'm just going to write down whatever comes to mind. Getting a bit of stone fruit at the beginning. Take another bite. Yeah, definitely get that stone fruit at the beginning. Then a bit of molasses. And then again you get the stone fruit at the end. But very also a strong toasted baked aftertaste. I'm kind of going with toasted here. I 
And now I'm just rating the aromas. Yeah, good, a good amount of quantity, not too many. Good clarity, good range. Work well together. Quite sweet. Definitely not very bitter at all. Definitely a good sour tartness there. Medium creaminess. Not very dry. Pretty good melt. So on the other side of my tasting book, after I've analyzed my bar, I can put in the more specific details of the bar. So the maker is Pump Street, based in UK. Grower is from Madagascar. It's a single estate. And definitely fair trade. Ingredients, you know, pretty standard for a good dark chocolate, cacao bean, cane sugar, and cocoa butter. It's a 72%. No inclusions or other ingredients. Best before date is the end of this year, December 23rd. And I'm enjoying it today on January 12th, 2023. So that's a pretty nice bar. Definitely got, you know, that wake up call with the tartness in there. Getting your palate off to a good start. Nice little jump of flavor. It's interesting how it started with the stone fruits and then ended with it as well. You know, a nice strong apricot at the end there. Let me give it another taste. Use the flavor wheel. So definitely you know, starts with that fruit, stone fruit, apricot. Then we get the toasty notes, molasses. Then back to the fruity again. You don't always get that in a bar. Sometimes you get the fruity once and then it doesn't come back or it stays. This one, the fruity came, left and came again. Very interesting. So I'm gonna cleanse my palate now with my hot water, give it a good swoosh. And now we're gonna start with the Shoki. Shoki, Dominican Republic, 72%. It's got a nice good snap. It's got a deeper earth brown. Doesn't have those warm tones that the Pump Street had. And very good shine. Now let's give it a sniff. Okay, it's quite faint. Faint, a little bit of sort of deeper earthy tones. Definitely not as distinct as the Pump Street. It is interesting how some bars can be aroma wise very faint, yet when you taste them, there's so much flavor there. So I'll warm up my mouth, give it a taste, and let's see what we have for the Shoki bar today. Keep in mind, remember that when you try your bars on different days, you might interpret the flavor slightly different. There's many, many input influences that determine the flavor of our foods. It's not as cut and dry as a lot of people think. 
So I'm getting something fruity in the middle there. I don't know, I don't know what it is. It's not apple, but I wrote apple. But it's, it's something like that. It's not quite as tart and, and sour as a stone fruit. And then it ends with some sort of deeper coffee. Um, the beginning, I would say, is more caramel. You know, sometimes it's hard to articulate the flavors in the way they come, so you kind of have to go back and forth. So I'm getting sort of beginning notes of caramel, a bit of that fruitiness, not apple, but that's the best I can come up with. And then it ends with some coffee, molasses, maybe prune. You know, it's it's sweet. It's It's got a heavy flavor, but not in a intense, intense way. When I say coffee, I mean more like a like a pour over dark coffee, you know, something not, not an espresso. So good, good quantity of, of aromas, pretty good clarity, nice good range, you know, a variety there. Very nice taste, I would say was, you know, not sweet, definitely not bitter, definitely not sour. You know, you can have fruity notes without the sourness there. Very, very creamy, not very dry, very smooth, very creamy, almost like butter. So let's see here, let's try that again. So yeah, definitely the, the sweet, the dairy, a little bit of fruity, and then back to sort of baked molasses. The dairy, the sweet, the caramel, something there really stands out to me today. Okay, so let's put in some details here. So it's the Shoki Dominican bar, 72%, and based in Canada, in Squamish, BC, sort of near Whistler, BC. The grower is uh, Zorzal. Origin, obviously, Dominican Republic. Fair trade. And ingredients, you know, cocoa bean, sugar, cocoa butter, 72%. Best before July 2023, and I'm having it in January 2023. And the reason why we add batch numbers and best before dates is so sometimes you can refer back and see if if you bought the same bar again a year later, if it's a different batch, was the flavor very consistent or did it change quite a bit? So now I'm gonna try the Matisto bar. I'm gonna cleanse my palate with my hot water. So let's take a look. Matisse always has that beautiful design on the bar, very intricate, very well crafted. The color is more of a warm brown, definitely a very good shine, he always has optimal shine. Nice loud pop. Louder than the other two, but that's because the other two I broke at the seams between the little squares, which makes the pop a bit quieter. Okay. Give it a sniff. Definitely sweet and fruity. Definitely sweet and fruity coming through. Warm up my mouth again, cleanse my palate. Give that a taste. Mm. It's 
quite sweet, not bitter at all. Bit of tartness there. Definitely ends with some woody hay. The ending, the finishing notes are very distinct. It's got woody hay, then there's also apricot, some floral herb essence to it as well. The beginning in the middle kind of got past me. So I'm gonna taste it again. So it's between those fruity notes and that hay woodiness that keeps coming through herb. Pumpernickel maybe even. I really love the finishing notes. Even yogurt, I would say. Because the beginning, it has that tartness and I want to say fruitiness, but it's not at first. And maybe because of the creaminess and the smoothness, I don't know, I want to say yogurt. I want to say it kind of starts with that yogurt, that wild yogurt flavor. Then we got berry, woody hay. Good quantity of notes, very good clarity, great range. Really fun bar. Really fun bar. They're all wonderful, but this one was much more... Took me in many different directions. And I kind of like that sometimes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having a bar that only has a few notes, but maybe they're just very comforting, very delicious notes. But it's also nice to have bars that take you in many, many different directions, all in the moment. So the maker is Matisto, based in Australia. The origin is Solomon Islands, Tanaro region, fair trade. Ingredients, cocoa butter, sugar, cocoa bean. It's definitely all you want to see in a fine dark chocolate. 67% no other ingredients. Best before September 2023 and I'm having it January 2023. It's interesting that both the Pump Street and the Matisto bar, both had quite, had an element of fruitiness, but let's see now, I'm going to try them back the other direction, now that I've tried all three, now that it's sort of fresh in my mind. I'm going to go back and see, you know, how they compare to one another. Sometimes when we taste foods, it's sort of like listening to music. You know, you have to kind of train your ear to hear the different notes and we're training our palate to taste the different flavors. So, you know, comparing and contrasting is a really good way to highlight the differences and make it much easier to articulate. So because those two were the most similar of the three, I'm going to try them back and forth. So I'm going to try a little bit of the pump, kind of remind myself of the flavors. Go to the Matisto. You know, and after trying, comparing the two, the Pump Street doesn't seem as fruity anymore. It, it's still got a bit of that tartness there, but for me, the Matisto Tenaro just, you know, it still finishes with the same notes, but the fruitiness just seems more heightened now that I compare them. And the Pump Street seems more towards the baked, nutty, earthy sort of spectrum now, now that I compare the two. And now I'm going to try the Shoki one last. And you can really tell the difference in texture. Something about it is super soft and creamy and buttery and totally different flavor spectrum. I'm not getting any fruit this time at all. You know, butter, caramel, Nuts, you know, it's like eating a toffee bar or something like that. Beautiful. Well, that was a lovely tasting today. Thank you for joining me.
finish off my water here and hope to talk to you again soon.